All right, I'm going to do a simple load test on my car. I have um, a multimeter plugged into the dash, and i am just got it on DC volts, and for some reason it's giving me 12.2. Um, I don't know if it's just all the resistance in the cables or what. I should check the uh, voltage straight at the battery if I want a real accurate reading. But uh, anyway, yeah, the stream went off. I'm going to do a alternator test, just in case I've had the problem. So... It's a very simple load test. You don't even need any tools besides a voltmeter. So, I'll perform that. Seems like it cranked a little slow, I'm not sure though. Alright, so anyway, for the load test, turn on my interior lights. For the first thing, I'm getting 14.65 volts at my normal. Actually, it's not normal, it's a little above normal idle. I'm going to raise idle to 1500 and then see. I wonder if that could cause a problem. It's a little light on there. I don't think that comes on until... No, that's just from me. From these lights. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to load test my alternator uh, through a very, very simple process. Um, I'm going to not increase the idle for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on things like my defroster. Which you obviously can tell it turns on. I will turn on my interior lights already on. I'll turn on my fog lights. I'll turn on my. Let's see how the voltage is still 14.4. My bl blower can go on full. The lights dim. 14.3. Here. Let's start all that over while looking at the voltmeter. So I'm at 14.56. Still 14.56. 14.4. Alright, that's at a pure idle. Now let's bring up the 1500. So it's doing pretty well. Uh, let's see, I'll roll them. If my windows will roll down, I'll roll them down. I'll do all four windows at the same time. 13.5. See that? The lights dim big time. Wow. Let's bring out the 1500 try that. What do the bolts go down to when I do that? 13.8. It's not that long. Turn my wipers off before I wear them down. 12-2. That's insane. So, all I'm doing is, well, I've got all this other crazy stuff on. So, turn on the fog lights, and I'll try it. Okay, that doesn't lower it quite as much. You can really hear that. I, I didn't think it'd be that much. That's crazy. Oh, this is going to be alternator. Wow. Okay, I'll show the same thing at 1500 RPM. The okay, lights don't dim nearly as much. How about 2,000? Or a little over. Okay, that doesn't do a whole lot. Okay, 1,000 RPM. Wow. You can hear the alternator making that alternator whining noise when I do that. That's insane. Alright, so the voltage when I do that goes on quite low. 13.2, but at, say, 2500 RPM now. Hardly goes down much. I start on the defrost at the same time.
That's at 2,500 RPM. Um, defrost are on, blower on, uh, all lights are on. I should do my high beams. I don't know if they pull any more power or not. Uh, that did something. Not really. Alright, so I'm at 14 volts, 2,500 RPM, everything on. And I'll do the windows as well. 13.9. So that's literally everything I've got. So 13 days, is the lowest it'll go at 2,500 RPM. 2,000 RPM. It'll go down to 13.8 as well. 1,500 RPM. Wow, 12.8 volts. That's at 1,500 RPM with everything on. Even if I turn off my interior lights, let's turn this light on. If I turn off my interior lights at idle, it goes down to 14 point. Oh, that does quite a bit. The window regulators, are no, you don't have those on that much, and in the winter time, you never use them, really. And that's with all four of them, and everything else on at the same time. So I think I'm in the clear for uh, my alternator. It's obviously just a parasitic load somewhere along the way. I do like the red dash lights. See if I give it 1500 and I let off real quick, it'll probably go down below the normal idle. Hmm? No, it's pretty smooth. This light flickers. It's not even on right now, what the heck? The, the little light that's supposed to be on. Oh, there it goes. Huh, when I press the little shifter, it lights up more. One more thing to note is that even though my trunk light was coming on intermittently, I don't actually have a trunk light. Of all the things I have, trash control, ABS, I don't have a trunk light. So, you know, that's not going to cause a problem. And I don't have a light inside my console. The light that's in here, I believe, is just coming straight off of these um, dash lights from the headlights. I'll check that when I turn the car off because I can't turn the lights off right now. But this light is, the glove box light is off when I close it. You can see it turns off. It's only open partially. So, it's for doing its job. So, you know, whatever, I don't know what it is. There's my button that needs to be fixed. Oh, look, you can see like the circuit board in there. I can still see something written in there. Uh, hot heat. After this amount of time, my engine's already at full temperature. I want my camera up, the battery's down. And the reason for that is because it's cold out here. I'm going to turn my car off and see if that light comes on. Yes, it does. And my interior lights are on. Okay. I'm getting 12.73 volts, 72. Why is it? It's already dropping below 12.6. Turn that light on. Turn his interior lights off. Oh, they already are off. You can open and close the door so the computer shuts off. Still dropping. These lights turn off after 15 seconds. Not that light. I'm already at 12.34. That's rather low. Before I go in, I'll check it at the right of the battery. Okay, lights are going off. Voltage is going back up. It really should go back up to at least around 12.59. 12.55, taking out the resistance. Come on, 12.55. 2 yeah. I think about 12.55 is as close to 6 as I need to be while I'm inside of my um, car testing it, not right at the battery. Yeah, that's good. Find one more. There. 12.55, that's good for being in the car. I'll check right at the battery right before I head back in. 
this light doesn't stand very long. Yeah, that's good, and that's about it. That was my simple low test.